Hi, Hi Emery. Emery. Good morning. How are you? Good, thanks. Why do Terrific. Wake? How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, I, I've seen a couple episodes. I can't wait to see more. I'm so excited about this event series that we're going to see. What can you tease for us about what maybe got you involved in the show? Why were you interested in being a part of Galavant? Um, well, the script is the script is hilarious, and that was the first thing that we obviously saw yeah. um, reading it, and we all came into the the room having the same, much the same reaction about how we felt. <laughs> so that was the first thing. And you've got Alan Menken's music and Glenn Slater's lyrics and working with Dan Fogelman, and there are some there are some really great names in it. And that's that that's more than just a name on a page. It's knowing that you're working creatively with some you know really important people. It's um, <laughs> it's not every day that you come across a script like this. I mean, a medieval comedy musical all put together. I mean, who who would have thought? I never would have guessed um, if someone told me years ago that I'd be playing a Disney princess opposite <laughs> a gallivant knight. And um, <laughs> it, it, it's such a dream role because we all get to sing, we get to dance with horses, um, we get to sword fight. Uh, and, and do all sorts of um, interesting things that normally maybe you wouldn't do on other shows. <laughs> what can you uh, tell us about maybe some of the storylines that we're going to see or what we see as we see these episodes air? What, what, what is Gallivant? What is the show that people can watch and tune into? So you're going to meet these characters uh, at the origin when Gallivant's still a prince and he's still a hero and he's still sort of a good guy. I mean, he stays a good guy, but... <laughs> Uh, and then, and then he sort of falls down on his luck, and you're watching him uh, rebuild himself, and you're sort of watching him become a hero again. And he meets Isabella, and she sort of teaches him how to love himself again, and how to just be a nice guy, and stop being so arrogant and so knightly, and all the airs and feathers and graces that he had, and sort of just become a real bloke, which is what's so lovely about it, because he's he's really Galavant's like an anti-hero. He's not this perfect knight shining armor at all, at all. like the, op <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the opposite of that and uh, and she sort of br brings him some humanity yeah I, th I think that's what I love about the fact that they've th there's it's such a fresh humanizing perspective on on a hero um, and and we see that he means he's got the biggest heart as well Galavant has this big heart he means well and um, you know I think his bravado is very charming and and, and funny at the same time um, and Isabella is certainly there to um, to help him and obviously she needs she needs him as well because uh, her parents lives and her kingdom are at stake so um, it's I just love the fact how you see just a really fresh perspective of, of a princess, because there's nothing really princessy like about her. You know, there's no <laughs> hissy fits or anything. Well, maybe sometimes with Galavant, but, maybe. <laughs> maybe <laughs> but, but it's 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 you see a real well, friendship, um, a real relationship between the two evolve, and um, uh, it's it's wonderful how they both sort of bring the best and the worst out of each other at the same time. <laughs> And talk a little bit about the process and, and how making a musical TV show is maybe different than doing things you've, you've done before. What's the process like? Yeah, very different. Um, I mean, first off, obviously, you've got the script, but you've got the music, which, which plays such a massive part and tells just as much of a story. So the first thing we'll get, obviously, is the script, and then we'll receive a demo tape from Alan Menken of him singing along with a piano of a song that he's <laughs> kind of still creating. Yeah. And uh, then we'll work on that a little bit with him before we go into the studio. We'll then record it in the studio with Alan and Glenn and Dan Fogelman, the director and the creator, writer. And we'll sort of create the song with them. And it's very collaborative in that sense. So we're still sort of discovering what the song is and where it's going to go and what it means to us. And then we'll record it. And then maybe a week later, we'll get to the set and then we'll record the scene and where the song fits in and then we'll record the song again and then you sort mm. of you, then you get a mix between the studio what we recorded in the studio and what we recorded on set and we sort of find an amalgamation of the two something that we can create as organically as possible so that you're getting uh, all the responses within the song when we're filming it because you know things change and then you would just carry on working on it until it's until it's as honest as can be because it really all the songs really serve a purpose. Yeah. 
It's so wonderful to see how it starts off at a very embryonic stage at the beginning, you know, like Josh was saying about um, when you see the songs uh, evolving and coming together. And it's so wonderful to be in the studio when, when Josh and I are singing together or when we're singing with Luke, for example. It's wonderful to be with <laughs> yeah. And then the next thing you know, we're on horses and we're actually on the horses singing. Um, but do you remember when we were on the horses during our first rehearsal? And Josh is an amazing horse horse rider. He's very experienced. Very uh, nice. for, for, for Luke and I <laughs> to be <laughs> singing at the same time as steering the horse at the same time was a bit of doing this. And um, Josh is really patient with us. And we were trying to <laughs> align our horses. Something as simple as that. And just walking in a straight line and singing together. That, that I mean, was it's one thing having to sing an, an Anna Menken song as best as you can do, you know, with the pressures that that has. And then <laughs> giving you a sword and a horse and telling you to sort of gallop across a, a plane while well, singing it in key is a different well, thing. I thank you guys so much. I, I can't wait to see more, like I said, and I wish you nothing but success with it. Well, we hope you enjoy it, Emery. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks so much, Emery. Thank you.